Reaching the outskirts of the city, Anna was greeted by the screams of sirens. And he was telling us earlier not to come either. The deadly gas. Oh no. Are you here. kidding? We need a mask. Heaps of town in ruins. Dubbed wipers by British troops due to its difficult pronunciation. The Belgian town of Ypres was a key strategic position during the war. A hub for road, rail, and canal networks, it became the target for sustained bombing from 1914. In 1915, the Germans even used chemical warfare on the town. By the end of the war, the majestic cathedral and town center were nothing but ruins. Technology at work. In the wake of the technological advances of the early 20th century, the vast scope of this industrialized war brought developments in all fields, aircraft, marines, dirigibles, and tanks. Great progress was made in the fields of medicine, surgery, medical hygiene, and radiology, thanks to Mary Curie's work, who took thousands of x-rays of the wounded. Somebody needs help. Oh no. That must be her up there. Let me go in. Oh, Jesus. Come on, it's not too late. string a common toy of the age. During the war, toys gradually became more war-based. Through board games, children could fight out famous battles, while other items ridiculed the enemy. After the war, toys and games became more pacifist once more. Are you guys okay? Everything's ruined. We got poison this way. Can I get these keys? Ooh, just. Got a gear for something? Oh, I know where our gear is going to go. The thing is, there's got to be more of them because... Oh, here we go. This will probably have to go here. more sense. Still missing a missing a rather large one. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I wasn't even going to go up there cuz I figured we just had to make this ring the bell, but Free those people below, so that works out okay. Come on out. Vous plaît. 
Somebody is calling. Oh, he. Oh my God, this guy. Let me air it out. I wonder what caused us to be like to want to help people so much like this. Something will probably come out that'll tell us about that, but like this is pretty relentless what we're putting ourselves through to help these people. Okay, take a deep breath. What is that? Broken walking stick. The knob is all that remains of this walking stick. The stick has been carefully sculpted, a souvenir of the trenches. Fortunately, a broken walking stick is of no use to anyone. I guess we're just gonna leave you in here. And with that, I don't know if that would clear out the rest of the gas or not. <coughs> no, it certainly hasn't. <laughs> we went in there to save her. be something to do with the guy that we just helped because nothing else is going on. <laughs> you have to maybe take him somewhere? Oh, there we go. That just got us around. Whoa, whoa. Okay, we're gonna need to find something to get that going. Okay, she's trapped. Not sure what. It, oh no, this will actually be good over here. Uh. Oh wow. Okay, we're gonna need a key, which could be on her. So let's go up there first. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to get over there just yet. She might be secondary, unfortunately. Damn it. Bedpan. Ugh. Latrines were generally housed outside in the yard and homes of all social classes, so during the night, bedpans were used. In well-to-do households, servants were charged with emptying the bedpans. That's gross. Servant's job, not the fact that they had to use them. Okay, this paint. Okay. Uh. 116 or 26? Roman numerals? I'm not sure. Somehow I need to get in here. See, that says, and that says 1 4. I don't know if there's anything. Hmm. I certainly need a key. There's no getting around that. I don't see where a key could be in here.
I also don't have a lever for that thing. Oh. Okay. What are we missing? I'm just trying to even look on in her area there and see. Oh, there we go. I knew that painting was like, there's something going on there. I'll be coming for you somehow. I'm not sure how, but... Okay, stereoscopic camera. A camera that captures two simultane simultaneous images on glass plates, enabling relief images. Use of the camera was relatively widespread because the device was small and readily transportable. This is somebody's bunker. 1118. Oh, wait. Hold up a second. 38. This one says 14. And this one was a 2, wasn't it? 26. So, 1, 2, 3, maybe 4, 6. Four, six, eight? Is that what this one was? Yeah. One, two, three, four, six, eight. This got to be the code, right? Four. Six. Come on. Oh, shit, yeah. Look at this. This is serious. Oh, my God. There's, like... Schematics. This is... We just found... This is probably the scientist's place. Chemical formula. The formula is the description of what happens to soldiers' lungs when they inhale chlorine gas. Chlorine gas reacts with water in the lungs to produce hydrochloric acid, creating horrendous burns. Oh. There we go. And I bet you that is the well. And when we put this thing in, I bet you that rope that is going down the well will bring those up. That's pretty wild. So the paintings were more than just a key hider. <laughs> oh, you're kidding. Whoa. No way. Let me up there. I guess what we could do is with this, hopefully this brings up those grenades and then we can knock that thing down and get up there. Or at least give her a path out. There they are. Roll this up here. Beautiful. Oh, and that blew off the doors. All right. It'll be okay.
The governess revealed to her that her father, he is a scientist. scientist, had been kidnapped by Baron Von Dora, wow. who was eager to use scientific advances in warfare. Anna set out in pursuit of the Baron and encountered Emil and Freddy. <laughs> that is crazy. I love it. 